All right, here we have a 2008 Toyota Sequoia Limited. We took this in on trade from the second owner of it. It has been meticulously maintained primarily at Toyota. 34, I want to say, detailed maintenance history records on it. Go to the Carfax, check out the Carfax. It's got all the maintenance history on this vehicle since new. The guy took exceptional care of it. Uh, just upgraded to a newer, same class SUV. Um, it is a limited edition. <clears throat> uh, it's got, what are they? Uh, race line wheels on it, which are aftermarket, obviously. Um, all, most all the servicing was done at Toyota. The tires are from Lesh Wav. They're touring tires and they're in almost new condition. We really did virtually nothing to this vehicle as far as maintenance goes because it was completely up to date on maintenance when it came in on trade. They just took extremely good care of it. Uh, wait until you see the interior. It's just, it's been a very well cared for vehicle. So uh, if the next owner takes care of it as well, it will last for a very long time. It's got current Oregon plates. Oh, let's see here. So you've got power folding third row seats, which obviously were not used a whole lot because it's got two, it's got the, uh, the floor mats that flip over. Uh, it's got, or it's got the cargo mat for that. So unless it's, no, I don't think so. I was going to say, unless it's got a Velcro on it, but it doesn't. So they obviously just didn't use the third row a lot, but I want to put it up so I can show you guys the third row. Uh, power folding or power lift gate, power folding third row seats. It's got the full bench, which some of the limiteds had the full bench. Some of them had captain's chairs. Most of them had the full bench though. The leather upholstery is in beautiful condition. Under the all weather floor mats is in excellent condition also. It's got rear climate control. There's your third row seat. This allows it to recline for road trips, so they have their own button for that. And then you can also just fold it down, so you can see that power function work there. The back of this is in excellent condition. If these are folded down flat, well, let's just do it real quick if I can do it without. There we go. If this is folded down flat, this folds over to make a nice flat surface. That's the intention of those. Uh, so it does create a really flat surface for the back, which is a lot of room for transporting stuff or storage. This also has the window blinds. Um, it's got the full JBL audio system throughout. So it's got a 12 speaker system. It's got the really nice running boards. Um, full power seat. It also has the lower leg support, Bluetooth phone system uh he heated seats and this is a no navigation system unit uh which i really like it also has the reason i like that is because the factory navigation systems that these things had had issues in 2008 and this one doesn't have the touch screen so you don't have to worry about those issues uh and it also has height ride control and then center uh locking differential um, so that's nice. And then it has the power sliding rear window. Let's go ahead and fire it up since we're in here. There we go. It's got 172,588 miles. iForce 5.7 liter V8 engine. Absolutely amazing. Um, Oh, the lift gate's still open. Let's see here. Let's close this up. Let's go back here and close this lift gate up. Oh, it's got this all in the way because the seats are up. I wanted to show you it's got the power sliding rear window also. Um, but I have to put all this stuff up first. There we go. Hmm. 
wonder if the power lift gate shut off. Because I know it functions well. It just... Let's see here. I don't know why that's not functioning right now. I think it probably needs a uh, reset. Or no, it's just turned off because it's not even trying. So I will remember where the button is for the off switch for that and turn it back on here in a minute. But what I wanted to show you, oh, there we go. Staring me right in the face. So what I wanted to show you was the power sliding rear window, which is a fun feature. And I went to the glove compartment because on the Highlanders, it is in the glove compartment, but here the power door is right there. Uh, so now we can open the power door and close it the way it's supposed to be. So since I was having issue with a minute ago, I'm just gonna show you that it does work perfectly. So there it is closing. All right. And here is the power sliding sunroof. I always like to show people operations of these. They really don't have problems. They don't have leaks either. There's a tray to catch water on all of these and on all sunroofs in the world. There's a tray up here to catch water and then there's holes that drain down tubes down each pillar for sunroofs. So when those tubes get plugged, that drain overflows and you end up having a leak. Um, and then people think this seal's leaking. This is not, this is just an air seal, not a water seal. Um, although it does prevent most of the water from coming in. There's a catch pan that runs all the way around the sunroof. Anyways, sunroofs work great if you take care of them. Sunroof maintenance is important, so grease them every once in a while and clean out those little ports. So the height ride control is rising right now in the rear. And we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood too. Automatic windows, dual side climate control, so three-way climate control if you include the rear. Heated seats, auxiliary port. This thing's got everything you need and nothing you don't so and like i said it has been extremely loved i force 5.7 liter v8 engine japanese red coolant should always be japanese red on a japanese vehicle just silky smooth engine let's dive underneath real quick 100% rust-free, Oregon-owned, absolutely beautiful. And I get these in, they do not last long. Uh, there it is. Thanks for watching. There's probably a few things I forgot. You got fog lights, you got front parking sensors. Like I said, it is a limited edition. It's loaded out. The only thing it doesn't have is that factory navigation system touchscreen, which is problematic on these anyway. So uh, it's really a benefit that it doesn't have it. Just a really beautiful vehicle. Current Oregon plates, factory heavy tow package. Uh, grab it up while it's available, people. All right, we'll leave you with a shot of it. There it is. Thanks for watching.